Yes, I walked out of the relationship back in June. And I will tell you how I normally, I normally walk out of my relationship when I'm still in the relationship, okay? When we were in honeymoon, I found out some things that I could not keep up with. And then I was like, okay. And then he asked me, will you leave me? I said, no, I love you. And then when we were, when I was leaving Switzerland in, in, in July, at the airport, he asked me, will you leave me? I said, no, honey, I love you. But for sure, I had already left. Mimi ni ule dem, na kuachanga kama ni kwa relationship, imagine. Yani hata utajua. Yes, and by the time you people were seeing me, by the time I was putting up that press conference, by the way, I was so done with the relationship. You could see how I was up and down. Uh, June was difficult. July was heavy. August, tulikuwa tumeanza kupona pona. Alafu sasa September. You know, I started working on eggshells. And the moment I started working on... Imagine, look at this beautiful home. Then I have to start tiptoeing. I tiptoe for what? So that I can fulfill someone, eh, me, tiptoe in a relationship. Mm -mm. This is why I don't stay in toxic relationship or relationship I don't understand. It's because my money is in my head. And the moment I allow any man mess up with my head, then he's messing up with my pocket. Unless you are a billionaire and I just have to sit at home and wait for you to bank money in my account, then I can take your bullshit. But when I equally still have to pay my bills, take care of myself as a woman, and take care of my children. Remember, I'm a mother of five. I have five children, depending on me. I'm their mother. In as much as the two boys, we are co-parenting with the father, with the fathers, the other three girls are entirely mine, but the five children are mine. I also have a life to live, okay? I have Esther Akoko Keo to take care of. I have my family. I have my mother. I have my father who, who see me as their only daughter, okay? So, I'm not apologetic on anything. I will not apologize on anything. If the relationship did not work, baby, it did not work for me. If you thought it was working, well, it worked a few days. And when the mask fell off, I could not stand, stay there. What, what exactly was I staying there for? <laughs> so I managed you guys. <laughs> By the time you never saw Dennis on my Instagram or my Facebook or anything, uh, that is the time that I... Um, I was managing on, on my exit clothes. <laughs> because, you know, don't just wake up and start to come on social media and start parading, parading your, your, your relationship by saying, oh, I'm these people will kill you. Come on social media when you are ready and completely done with that relationship. Okay? So that when the people are trolling you, <laughs> they do not understand whether you are, you are hurting or by the time you are giving them the news, you've already walked the journey and you're actually very done with that relationship. But if you come on, this is piece of advice. Don't you ever parade your pain on social media. These people can finish you. Because there are people who already equally have so much pain in their lives, their relationships are not working at all. Eh? But they just manage it for social media, for people for likes and comments. Oh! Couple goals. I don't have couple goals. If couple goals is not coupling inside this home, it will not couple on social media. Oh, no. For who? For people who have never even tried relationships. For people who are in situationships. For people dating people's husbands. For people who have given birth with, with people they don't even know. For people, you know, man, keep social media a place for entertainment, not a place to pour all your messes. So, just to let you know, Thank you very much for carrying me through. Well, I hid from you. It was tough, eh? Off cameras. Baby, it was tough. <laughs> it was tough. And um, when I realized some things, I had to pull out so fast because I was like, oh. And like I told you before, when you hit 40, uh, some of you are still young, and um, you'd wonder how I could they move on so fast. Baby, I'm taking care of my bills. <laughs> I don't make decisions based on hunger, okay? I make decisions based on emotion at that particular moment, how I feel. I was in love, baby. I fell in love. And I found a perfect match. Why not walk to the aisle? If it did not work again, we walk back. Like I told you, I am not leaving the market. I am the market myself. Why would I leave my market? Oh, ting tana lona. Kadu kota yudoka spesopong. Ah ah. 
tunakanyagana tu hapo so for those who are coming up with the ideas of oh omosh was um, a pakistanian that is totally wrong man kijana wenyewe ni mswiss i met him in switzerland he had come to kenya i think three times back in 2019 and then again i think two times in 2022 from what he told me and then i met him back in july in switzerland okay he is swiss born and raised in swiss he comes from a family of um, or he comes from um, a dysfunctional family the mother is a single mother of five and so he is the the first born okay no he is the second born there's a, there's a girl i met the mother when we went to italy the mother normally celebrates um, her graduation um, her birthday in italy and i went there i was introduced the mother was so happy to see me i talked to her in germany in german i expressed myself okay i talked to her auf deutsch okay ich kann ein bisschen deutsch sprechen and i told her i am a single mother of five i've had so many failed relationships so just know that your son is going on to the next so when i tried the relationship and it was not working what did you want me to do why i'm addressing this is there are some people who are stuck on this omosh thing even people who are very close to me and i want to tell you i don't appreciate it when i call you that you want to discuss matters business then the first thing you start by asking me where is omosh who are we dating him with you which part was omosh playing in your life or were you romancing your husband using our videos and photos i don't take it lightly by the way even some very um prominent people would just call me and ask me eh and even tell me no 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 you cannot break up with omosh why not omosh is not the first man in my life man he is number 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 if i was able to walk out of a billionaire i was able to dump a billionaire <laughs> i was able to walk out of a marriage where i had a, i had children okay the other one i did not walk out i was kicked out sorry poleni nimearibu mimi sipendi kutusema uongo i was kicked out but then with baba dominic i walked out uh with baba uyo eh hiyo ilikuwa hiyo <laughs> sijui kama nili walk out ama nilisukumwa nje hiyo pia siwezi kuongelea i don't remember okay so the truth of the matter is for me i don't beg for, i don't beg for love i will give you some some of my airtime but then when i realize unaanza kukua bullshit i can also be a biggest bullshit you've ever seen in your life so from today henceforth it is done and dusted with the mosh okay na omosh mimi ndo ni jina nilimpatia hakuna mzungu anaitwa omosh simply because he was an early riser there was nothing tagged along that for the people who are talking about pakistanian i don't know what what why i'm bringing this information because some 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 two boys think that i'm just available even for them i saw some walking placard i want to marry akode want to uko na uko na balls ya kumaria akode wewe eh wewe unaweza unaweza ku control the empire wewe ama unataka kuadoptiwa in the bedroom tuheshimiane eh? eh mimi sa, ni rika karibu ya mama yenu so in as much as my relationships are not relationshiping let us not go there my fans thank you for very much omera laur jok malungo moshe wall kanyoko